beautiful diamond. How you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Return subscribers. Hey, how you doing? And if you're new, it's your girl Lele in the building. And today we got another reading, so you already know the drill. Go get y'all drinkity drink. Go get y'all snackity snack, and let's get it popping. Now, the motto of today is gonna be. I am the changing factor, okay? So I am the changing factor. Comment that down below. Now, Spirit is telling me here that you have been battling and going through these spiritual tests and you have actually passed a karmic lesson is what I just heard. All right, so there were a lot of people who were testing you, trying to get you out of your lane, out of your purpose, and questioning your own sanity in situations. Like, am I crazy? <laughs> okay, but currently, people are really impressed with who you've become. All right, and you're currently on this level up. And this level up is not just a superficial level up. You know what I'm saying? This is an internal level up in your maturity and staying grounded in the sites of conflict, right? You are the solution. Comment that down below. I am the solution. So you had people try to get you out of alignment, try to make you break out of character and your maturity. Now, the first cards we have is you're the adult in the room, taking ownership and responsible, clarified with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So this is showing me that you've been owning up to your own life. And also I'm hearing like stepping away from drama. I'm hearing step away from drama just to focus on, you know, growing and maturing and building your finances, your business, it could be. And because of that, we have the Six of Pentacles, which is showing me like all of your hard work is paying off. You're I'm hearing your finances might be, might be blessed right now where you're finally able to like get your bills paid and have maybe a little extra on the side, you know what I'm saying, to give yourself a little spoiling time. And also it's giving the vibes like you have new opportunities that are opening up because you passed this karmic test. All right. So also, yeah, you've been tested at all angles. You've been tested even like at work or with family, like people have just been testing you. It's been a season of, especially, you know, with the retrograde, you know, like we've talked about before. All right. So yeah, and it's an Aries. So, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of people who are hotheads and I feel like maybe you had your moments, but you didn't reverberate back to that old way of responding to situations that want to challenge your position. All right. So and also, now you're not really sure, like, who you can really trust in situations. So now you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to take a step back. I'm going to do me, right? I am the changing factor, right? And I don't have to be influenced by my environment. I don't have to get down with the dogs and get dirty, period, okay? So you're not really trusting a lot of folks right now. You're just keeping your eye out just to, you know, just being aware, you're, like, your discernment strengthened right now. And, like, you've already been through this rodeo. You've been through all these types of situations before. So whatever you were confronted with is like, oh, this looks familiar. And you, you got on top of it. You handled your ish, is what Spirit's saying. All right. So now you just have trust in yourself and in the divine. Like, that's it. Like, everybody else is like, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? Now, we also have breaking generational curses. It did pop out in the reversal. And clarifying that, y'all, like, there's some people are salty. Like, they're salty about the fact that you have this position of power now. We have the Hierophant and the King of Wands clarifying that ge breaking generational curses card in the reversal, okay? So, this is definitely showing me that you're a leader now. And that's the reason why you're not easily influenced by people. I feel like, you know, I'm also hearing you might have had some people try to get real cool with you real quick. You know what I mean? Like, you could be at work or something like that. Like, it might have been new people, and, like, they automatically try to act like they're your best friend or whatever. And, like, like I said, like, your discernment game is, like, really strong right now, and you're not just being buddy-buddy with people just because they're having a smile on their face, right? Because I'm hearing, like, you're seeing past the illusions. You've dealt with messy people, right? And, like I said, like, people try to manipulate your energy, try to manipulate your decisions, right? And that's the reason why, like, you had to pull your energy back, speaking of which, okay, going within hermit mode and introspection, think before you act, clarified with the wheel of fortune so this literally was another lesson that came back around it's like the universe was kind of testing you to see okay have you learned that lesson have you learned that lesson to not just go along with somebody's story just because they said that this this is what happened they want you to go down that rabbit hole of bs with them okay try not to curse over here <laughs> all right so i'm here and you took the ladder out and you just decide i'm not fighting fire with fire i'm going to take a step back and i'm just going to focus on my coin I'm going to focus on my pro my progress, okay? So you've been focused on your progress and you're making waves. You're making progress right now, right? So this is that new level up that spirit is saying that other people are noticing about you is that you're not being reactive the way people want you to be reactive, all right? You're not taking the bait with people. 
Now, we also have a new opportunity staying open in the Ace, all right? So we have Ace Energy, clarified the chariot, right? So it's like you have this energy of like you went within, thinking before you respond, thinking before you signed that contract, right? And then all of a sudden, whenever it's like using your discernment game to sniff out, okay, that's not a good opportunity. You know, I can see the drama that that's going to lead to. Let me go ahead and switch it up and be open to something else. And I'm hearing you got new information coming towards you right now. If you haven't already received the new information, all right? Right? The, there's like new facts being presented right now with you and you're finally like okay I made the judgment call I made the right choice I made the right choice not to trust that people right those people or to not let's say apply for that job what have you like don't just take something just because it's being presented to you right reading the fine print this season is what you've been working on and because you're doing so now like you're following your guidance with that chariot card right because the chariot it does represent balanced action right balanced movement forward trusting your guidance you see with the stars right here which represent trusting trusting in the divine timing and now we have this new opportunity that you're stepping into currently right because of your discernment so comment this down below my discernment game is strong period and you are not easily manipulated anymore like literally you're the adult in the room now okay so we have judged too quickly that's another thing. Like, you have some people who jumped on the bandwagon of something. They judge too quickly thinking, oh, that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm going to follow that. Or, oh, I'm going to be on this person's side. Like, you're not taking sides with nothing anymore is what Spirit's showing me here. So judge too quickly. Like, people were... So that's the thing. You saw a bunch of people jumping on the bandwagon with other things, right? And while everybody... It's almost like I see this image of, like, everybody running towards the cliff, Right, they're running towards the cliff and they don't even realize like it's they go and fall off the cliff, right? And you're just over here like, okay, let me just back up because I see where that's leading. Like they about to fall off that cliff. Right. And I feel like you maybe you had people criticize you because you were not about to, you know, go jump off the cliff with them, right? It's kinda like uh, you know, my grandma used to say, if you eat a S H I T sandwich, okay, so if everyone's eating a S H I T sandwich, would you go and eat that sandwich? No, right? So you're not going to just do something because everybody else is doing it. And so because you're doing that and because you're using your discernment, now the doorways of opportunity are opening up for you. A real opportunity, right? Because not all that glitter is gold. Not everybody is who they say they are, right? That's why, like I said, like you've been real discerning because you've been here. It's like this looks like I'm seeing like deja vu. Like you had moments of deja vu in situations and like you caught it because you did. Now the universe is blessing you with new opportunities that are genuine and real right? Holding out for real friends, holding out for real love partnerships. It could even be like a false twin flame, right? Just because you had, you, you were seeing this person, they look good, don't mean that they are good, right? And I feel like things are being revealed, okay? So with that just too quickly, they were mistaken, lost for words, and feeling dumb. We have the two of wands. Like I say, like some people, also it's two messages coming through. So some people, like they decided that they were going to go along with these plans, and these plans, like I'm hearing karma, like, these people got karma because they were not listening to their intuition is what I'm hearing. And also, it's like, now it's like now you got this genius idea. You got something going on for you. And people were like, no, that's not a good idea. And then, boom, all of a sudden, you realize it was a genius idea, right? And then, boom, everybody's trying to get on board now because they're like, dang, I, I wish I would have gotten on board with them whenever I had the chance. Like, I wish I didn't reject that person, right? That's the vibe coming through. Okay, so, yeah. The only person that you're currently trusting is yourself and the divine spirit saying continue to do that continue to use your discernment okay and the best thing you could do for yourself is to stay in your own lane that's another message that's coming through here okay so we also have stamina running laps around haters one step at a time and you are your own competition clarified y'all the seven of swords and the emperor oh lord jesus here we go so you had people, like I said, like you've had people try to make you question your position right now. There's, it's like, you're not even hesitating. It's like, no, like I, like you've already had this introspection to look back at how far you've come and all the obstacles that you had to overcome to obtain this position power, right? This p powerful position is what Spirit's saying. And so right now you're currently running laps around your haters. It's like, y'all can try to trip me up, but I ain't budging, right? Comment that down below. I ain't budging, period. Okay. And we also have Smile by Lily Allen, clarified with the Four of Swords. So this is a beautiful energy of healing, right? So, you know, when you first left me, I didn't know what to say. I'd never been on my own that way. I was so lost back then. Like I said, you had that introspection, really thinking about, you know, like it's been like memory lane, like really thinking about all the things that you went through that people put you through, right? 
But with a little help from my friends, I feel like you have new friends in your circle now. Like you have a whole new soul tribe that you're attracting or you've you've become a, attracted to. Like you're attracting your soul tribe currently is what Spirit's saying. And they helped you to see yourself clearly because the people you used to associate with, they were they were actually fogging your perception of yourself for a long time. It says, I found the light at the tunnel at the end. So you finally healed from this ish. You're no longer living in heartbreaks and pains. You're no longer, you know, licking your wounds anymore or nothing like that. Like, it's completely healed. And the bottom of the deck, y'all, I gotta show, this is some crazy. You've dealt with so much conflict with people, but because you're staying solid, not being reactive, you know, you know, forgiving people who act, act a fool, right? It's like, y'all acting crazy. Y'all need to go ground yourself, go touch some grass, period, 17, 17 on the clock just now. All right, so that's 8-8. Eight, eight. Y'all already know that number has been coming up a lot on my reading. So that's all about karma, okay, period. And 8-8 eight, eight is 16. That breaks down to 7. 7 is about spiritual test, okay? Spiritual test is what's happened. So we speaking of 7, we have the 7 of Wands. Okay, so the 7 of Wands, that's you putting up your defenses. And, and I'm hearing, like, you have to protect your dream. You have to protect your crop. You got to protect what you got going on because it's like you got to pick out the weeds. It's like you're trying to grow something, but it can't flourish. You got all these weeds around, right? So you got to protect that. That's what you've been doing. All right. So we also have this, the five of swords. All right. Like I said, people judge too quickly. They want to go ahead and put their little two cents where it don't belong. And you're over here like, I'm not going to let that filter through to me right? Your filter is strong. Like you have a filter and you're, it's like, it comes through the filter. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and transmute that hate because it's all just energy, right? And you are the changing factor. You can manipulate that energy and turn it around for your betterment. And that's what you've been doing, right? With the star, y'all, we got the star. Like no matter what they said, the, it's like, they can't steal what was, what is promised for you. All right. So comment this down below. This is promised to me. My dreams are promised to me by the divine, period. We also have the five of wands. So we have the five of swords, the five of wands, right? That's all about competition, but boo-boo, it is not a competition with you. Like I'm seeing right now with all of these pinnacles, this represents like all of the badges of honor that you have gained through all the strifes. It's like, is this given, because it's I'm hearing eight of pinnacles to the nine of pinnacles, right? And so the eight of pinnacles before, it was a lot of hard work that you did, right? Stay consistent. There's this energy of consistency, right? And you get better at your craft. You get better at whatever it is that you're calcifying within yourself to be an expert. Comment that down below. I'm an expert. I'm an expert at life, period, is what you are. So we have the four of pinnacles. Oh, four of pinnacles. Okay, that's coming through. Yeah, these people up here, they're getting their karma now. Now they're in a four of pentacles energy where they're feeling stuck and stagnant. And there is an energy of jealousy coming through. We go ahead and rebuke to buy that ish. Okay, so no weapons formed against you shall prosper, period. So the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you are in your own lane. All right, so stay in your own lane. Continue to like focus and flourish because you are flourishing. Comment that down below. I am flourishing, period. Okay. Followed by, y'all, <laughs> the fool. This is beautiful. Like, you're feeling comfortable in your skin again, is what Spirit's saying. Like, you finally embodied that burnt. It's like, you know, with the law of assumption, like, you kind of fake it until you make it. But Spirit's saying, like, you finally made it. Come on down below. I have made it. Okay, it is here. You are it. You are the end-all, be-all, finally, okay? So you are finally embodying that truth of who you always saw your sights to be. Is what Spirit showed me here. And now it's a brand new beginning. New opportunities have opened up to you because you've been disciplined, you've been consistent, and you're not fighting the devil. You ain't sitting there, you know, listening to his minions, right? Because these people don't even realize, like, they working for the enemy. Okay? So, the overarching energies, we have, y'all, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, y'all. <laughs> we have conformity popping out in the reversal. Okay? So, conformity, you already know, it says... Uh, suffocating to fit in, suppressing spirit from within. She must fly like the wind or stay shackled, shamed, or pinned. Okay, so this is an energy like you've broken away from all the shackles, all of the self-limiting beliefs, right? And spirit's saying like these people, like they're kind of salty about the fact that you're not conforming to, like it could be for some of y'all like family or something, let's say they're religious and they, you know, you grew up with a certain religion, it's just an example, and like they're salty that you found your own spiritual path, right? That's going to be for some of y'all, it's given that type of vibe. And also another message coming through is that like they're secret, some people are secretly inspired that you can break out of expectations and break out of being a conformist, right? Because it takes a lot of courage to what? 
to step into your Lilith energy, okay? So this is my Lilith card in my deck. Okay, as you see, she's got a bunch of like things that are written on her. It says outsider, quiet, loud, taboo, weird, okay, emotional, witchy, okay, too much. Okay, comment that down below. I'm extra and you're owning it. You're It's like badges of honor. It's like, you know what? Whatever you say to me, it don't matter. I'm owning who I am. Yes, I'm a little extra. Yeah, I'm a little alien. Yeah, I'm a little weird. You know what I'm saying? But what makes me weird makes me magic, period. Okay, so that's the vibe coming through. You're not conforming anymore. You're in your Lilith energy. And this is so beautiful. All right, you're making your inner child proud. You're making your, your child version of yourself really proud right now. Because I feel like when you were younger, it's like people made you feel like weird for being yourself, right? So maybe for a while, like you kept quiet and like your throat chakra has been healing where now it's like you're not just being quiet to make people comfortable with that conformity, uh, which is something you might have done in the past, but you don't do that no more is what Spirit's saying. And it takes a lot of strength and it takes a lot of courage to be yourself, okay? Regardless of the ridicule. And we got the shine card. Okay, so keep shining your light. Keep being that bitch, okay? <laughs> Something about her stood out from the rest. With no holding back, she became the very best. So something about you has always stood out. You stick out like a sore thumb kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And like, you're embracing it. You're owning it. And this is what people, people are literally magnetized to you currently. They're like, ooh, like they see you and it's something, like maybe you dress eccentrically or something. There's just something so beautiful and unique. And the fact that you're being yourself, dressing the way that you want, saying what you want kind of thing, but it's coming from a place of love is what I'm hearing. Like you're inspiring other people to also, like it's healing to other people. What, like your artistic expression, the fact how you express yourself is really healing to a lot of people who feel like it's like you give people permission to be themselves is what it feels like here. Okay. Okay. And the last uh, couple of things here, uh, Spirit said, protect your dreams at all costs. Okay. Protect your dreams at all costs. Because like I said, your purpose, your passion, your expression is healing to other people. And it gives people space to also be themselves. A lot of inspiration energy you're embodying currently. And being tested to show up for yourself on another level. So that's another thing. Like, you're being tested to show up for yourself on this another level. And I feel like maybe even a couple of years ago, like I said, there's this reflection looking back on where you came from, right? And a couple of years ago, you would have never seen yourself pushing past all obstacles and self-limitations the way that you're doing now. Okay, so like you you have you're literally walking into this prayer that you prayed for, right? You're you're the answered prayer finally. Comment that down below. I am my answered prayer, period. And you are the changing factor. So also bottom of this deck we have trust. So keep trusting, boo boo. All of your efforts were not in vain, for milk and honey are on their way, period. Okay, so let's get a papa with some oracles. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, I got these upside down. I'm not taking it upside down. Okay, that's, what did I just say? Milk and honey. That is confirmation, y'all. Hold up, look. Can't make this up. Go ahead, screenshot if you need to. <laughs> Milk and honey, synchronicity coming through right now. So a change in the wind. Like there's a change in the wind in regards to your abundance. And like this is a new chapter. You finally walked into the promised land. Comment this down below. I'm walking through the promised land, right? It's been uh, 40 years. It's kind, of, it's kind of giving those kinds of vibes. It's been a long time coming. You know what I'm saying? You had to go through that desert period, having to fight off things. It's like, was it really necessary to go through that? It didn't feel like it, but what it did teach you was a lot of lessons, right? And that's the reason why the doors are being open for you. Okay, so that's a beautiful synchronicity. And yeah, there's a change coming here. You're stepping into the land of milk and honey finally. That is so beautiful, y'all. So if you have anyone still try to come up and test you, it just feels like you've already passed the test. But just know, like, they can't stop your blessing. They can't stop your opportunities. They can't stop you, period. You're destined for this. Oh, we do have a reversal. To the C is in the reversal. Okay, what is this to the C in the reversal, spirit? An unfinished symphony. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, literally that karmic cycle. It's like before you can move on, before you can t tap into that new uh, you, that new opportunity and the, the gates opening up, you had to address this ish. It's like kind of overview, right? You went through this overview, sim uh, unfinished symphony, right? It was things that were unfinished. 
You had to forgive people. You had to forgive yourself, right? Because you can't move forward if you're still harboring that resentment, is what Spirit's saying. So now you've let go of the resentment and you've healed. Comment this down below. I have healed. I am healed, okay? What is your I am? I am healed. I am celebrated, period. Yeah, you had to tie up those loose ends. You had to, you know, it was like the last, I'm hearing the last karmic test before the doors could open of opportunity, okay? So you passed the test and no place like home. So that's an energy of coming home to yourself. So you've come home to yourself finally is what Spirit's saying. Tell me more about this energy. Yeah, literally what I was just saying, okay? So you might have had to forgive people from the past or people from your upbringing or people you went to school with who bullied you and stuff like that. Because we have no place like home and mending coming through. Like I said, tying up loose ends. And literally because you did this, it's like things are working out in your favor now. So I've said this before. So for my new uh, watchers and subscribers, so forgiveness actually stops the wheel of karma in its tracks. So in order to stop that karmic cycle cycle from happening again, it's very important to forgive. You don't have to, you know, condone what they did. What they did was wrong. But when we forgive, we're doing it for ourselves. That way we can move forward. So this is what you've worked on. And now this season, literally, you going in. I'm going in. And I'm going to go hard, period. <laughs> Bottom of the day, as I say that, literally, we have Yang. We have blessed. We have time to go. You know, it's given the vibes. I'm, I'm seeing a Wizard of Oz in my mind right now. And, you know, like, at the end, like, you know, she finally realized she was the one who had all the power. She was putting all of her energy and looking for Oz and trying to, you know, because he is supposed to take her home, right? And come to find out, he won't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just a man behind a screen. And she realized, like, oh, I have the power to go home. It's always been with me. I've always had the power. Right? So you finally realized, like, it was always you who had the power to finally close that door and to heal. Right? Because you are the changing factor. You're like Dorothy, is what Spirit's saying. So you over here clicking your shoes, right? And your shoes look cute too, by the way. <laughs> All sparkly and everything. And now you outie because it's like, okay, I'm done with this. I've let go of that, you know. And now I'm about to walk into my promised land, period. Okay? Realizing that you are blessed beyond measure. Okay, that's so beautiful. My goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at y'all healing. Look at that. Healing looks good on you, boo-boo. Period. Okay. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Justice. Y'all. This, with, I tell y'all, justice always be coming out on our readings because spirit's been saying like a lot of y'all, you know, in the past you were feeling like, well, I never got the apology or, you know, they never recognized me for what I did for them, right? And like, finally, you decided to let that go and because you did, now, for some of y'all, you could be having people reaching out to you be like, yo, I'm sorry. You know, it's also giving the vibes of like, you are literally creating justice for yourself by being the bigger person. And I know it's hard to be the bigger person situations, but people are not, like, they're recognizing you now and saying like, I would have never expected this person to, to you know, to sit there and be the bigger person and to either A, be like, look, I forgive you. You know what I mean? Like taking that first step. That's going to be for some of y'all. I'm really proud of you. Tell me more about this justice energy spirit. Yeah, justice family. Okay, so we have literally justice in the family. Break a generational curses. Another message coming through is that you've inspired some family members because, like I said, you're the head honcho now. Okay, with the Hierophant and the King of Wands. You've inspired some family members to break their bad habits, whether it's like alcohol or if, if you have a relative who's like really codependent, who goes like through in and out of relationships and things like that. Like you've been inspiring a lot of your family members. Okay, young and old is what Spirit's saying on all spectrums. So you are literally the catalyst of change in your family. And Spirit's saying to be proud of yourself for this fact because it takes a strong person to heal their own ish, address that ish, and to be the bigger person. I know, boo-boo. I know you've been an adult since you were five. I feel you, boo-boo. I hear you, okay? But this season, it's like you're finally, like, I'm seeing that music video, Wide Awake, uh, from Katy Perry, where she she has the little version of herself, right? And the little version of herself is, like, sticking up for herself. And finally, at the end, like, she go, she says her fa farewells to herself, right? To her little self. It's, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> 
I'm getting goosebumps right now. This is so beautiful. It's like you're finally saying farewell to that inner child that was hurt, right? And that's the reason why, like, now you're finally stepping into the fullness of your adulthood, right? Where you've rescued yourself finally, is what Spirit's saying. And so, therefore, you're actually rescuing other people in your family by doing this. Like, like you give people permission to heal. You give people permission to be themselves, is what Spirit's saying here. And we have good luck. So, like I said, there, the Wheel of Karma is turning in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is literally turning in your favor currently, okay? Comment this. I'm lucky. I am lucky. You are. You, you give it, like, lucky girl, lucky boy syndrome. Like, now, this is the season of lucky girl, lucky boy syndrome. And we do have grieving, okay? So, like, this is also giving the vibes with the family injustice, like... You have some people who are grieving the old you. Okay, I am hearing a side message. There was somebody in the family who, you know, like they're grieving the fact that they can't manipulate you anymore. Okay, get on out of here. Okay, we have prosperity coming coming through here. So we have good luck and prosperity, y'all. Like I said, new opportunities, good luck is on your side this season, all right? So own it. Accept the fact it's all inevitable. Goodness is inevitable for me. Comment that down below. Goodness is blessings, y'all. Stop playing. Okay, so you're saying like it's over with, it's done. You know, you've already healed. People are impressed with who you've become. Like it's given like you're you're walking in and like the Red Sea's parted now. Like this is the season of the Red Sea's parted and like you're making waves, period. Now let's get you some final advice with some affirmations. Day I was there, was okay. So we have joy is the ultimate creator. So, Spirit's saying, like, this season, you're not going to be so serious. You're going to be focused on making yourself happy, being in joy, because that's your true nature. Comment this down below. Joy is my true nature. It is. Okay? So, focus on joy. And it just feels like, like, you've been through a lot of things where you felt heavy or you were real serious about things. And this season, like, it's not going to be like that. Right? Because you're tough enough to get through that. You were tough enough to make it. And here you are. Glowing and shining, impressing people, okay, and leveling up. Bottom of the deck, we have hope is the conduit for miracles, okay? So hope is the conduit for miracles. So keep having hope, keep having faith, and stay joyful. Be in your joyful presence, all right, darling? I love you so much. That's the reading I have for you, darling. And until next time, send you all of my love. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Ta-ta.